Before you plug in your laptop charger to your phone, you want to look and see the charging capability of your phone. How much wattage can it take? So I have a Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, and I'm going to look up Samsung Galaxy S20 FE charging, and I'm going to look at the specifications for it to see, well, can I plug a laptop charger into it? Well, the first thing that comes up is how many watts is the S20 FE charger? And we can see the Galaxy S20 FE supports 25 watt wired fast charging. And so if you want to find more accurate, like if you want to be 100% sure, you should probably go to the manufacturer's website. That was just off of, I think, an article. But I know that the S20 FE can take up to 25 watts of wired charging. So we're gonna rely on that when we are looking at the laptop charger that I'm going to use. And the laptop charger that I'm going to be using is the MacBook Pro 13 inch M1 charging adapter. But other chargers should be very similar. Every one should have their input and output specifications on them. So now we're gonna take a look at the actual charging adapter or power adapter, power brick itself. So you can see that mine says 61 watts on it. And this is how much power my MacBook takes when it is charging. It takes 61 watts of power and that will charge it. This is the charger that was included with it. But if we flip the actual power adapter over, we can see some inputs and outputs here. And this is the important part that we need to look at when we are going to plug it into something else. The first thing to notice is the inputs. Now the input is 100 to 240 volts and that's because the standard American household outputs approximately 120 volts for the outlets in a home and that's why that's the input. Remember the input is whatever is going into our device. In this case it's the power adapter. So we have 100 volts going into our adapter and this is going to translate into our output. So the output is what we want to look at here. We can see that we have the 20.3 and that's equal to 3 amps. We have 15 volts and that's equal to 3 amps. 9 volts equal to 3 amps and also 5.2 volts. That's equal to 3 amps. Now if we look at the top right, we can see that we have 60.9 watts, 45 watts, 27 watts, and then 15.6 watts. Now looking at all of those, those are exactly the same as the output. It's just being multiplied together and remember, wattage is just voltage times amperes and we can see here our minimum wattage is 15.6 my phone can take up to 25 watts and so since the actual wattage here is less than that we can charge my phone from this adapter now can we plug this into a wireless charger the answer to that would be yeah probably and if we actually pick up the wireless charger and we look at it, it should look something like this, it should be somewhere on the device. We're gonna have input and output. So the input here is whatever output is coming from our adapter. It's because it's gonna be kind of chained together. And that is the adapter, right? So we have input into the adapter, that's gonna become output. And the output of the adapter is going to be the input of our wireless charger or of our phone, whatever we're plugging into it. So we have to make sure the input for our wireless charger is the same or less than the wattage of our actual power adapter. And for this specific wireless charger I'm using, it is. And then it's good to also make sure that the output is okay for your phone, but for most wireless chargers, they're gonna be okay for your phone. So as long as the input is good, then the output will be good, and you're able to charge your phone and you can just multiply the voltage and amps, that'll give you the watts, and that is important to look at. Now you can see that the MacBook is not charging, but if we plug in this charger, it will start charging even though it just dropped